You bring trouble. Bring gold from the treasure in this field. What? Uh, my regards, Mr. Witcher. Sir? Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the Divine Statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about talking to them? Even if I could ward off the Night Demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans. Sir? I made a deal with the Griggs. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. I prefer gold. Four hundred orins, as promised. Thank you. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. 
For you do not know it, but I know you, by reputation. I should warn you Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vaudianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vaudianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor, but that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Milady, where can I find the Vodianoi priest? At my altar, on the shore. Though Dagon's worshippers occasionally drive him away. I see. Yes? Milady, they say I returned to life, but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I am master of my own fate. I trust that in uttering those words you understand their weight. Rejecting destiny renders you responsible for all your choices, good and bad. So be it. Strong in character, indeed. You will regain your identity. I honor your wish to forge your fate. Know that you bear both my blessing and my favor. Thank you, milady. I have one more question. Yes? Milady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. Yes? Milady, can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been disturbed. The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodianoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Yes? Milady, you assigned me a task. I expected gifts from both humans and Vodianoi. Yes? Milady, 
What happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Farewell. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children. Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell.
It's unavoidable. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Who is the Lady of the Lake? I know her to be a goddess. At times I see her dressed in white, traversing the fields through morning fog, her bare feet stepping lightly over the dewy grass. Do you like her? I love her. I believe the Lady is not of this world. Mysteriously, she affects the entire area, safeguarding its people and granting them abundance. Yet her influence is subtle, and she never imposes her power. Intriguing. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory. And finally, one of the most mysterious. The philosophical or mystical. Which one first? Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings and wounds, and pain will turn into power. One theory also states that in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect their inhabitants from danger, creatures of the dark, natural disasters, and so forth. Sounds like Dandelion's ballads, only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Let's move on to the conspiracy theory. That one sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. Bronze. Go on. The, 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 the philosophical. Mm, the, the, what are you? I what? at the. The conspiracy. The, the, go on. These the theory. Enough. Which. Tell good this all. Go on. Uh, the the bro, in good this all. Go on. Not, any spell. Thank you. How could. Can I ask you something? What is it? I heard you're an ex- You see- I might- No! You must- There are- Tell me the good- This sounds- All- Go on. Knights have been seeking the Grail for ages, yet none succeeded. Both the noble Lancel and the bold Boars failed. I heard even the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose has shown interest. Any specific instructions associated with this theory? Unfortunately, I know only what I garnered from my books. The conspiracy theory sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the Prophet Lebioda. Go on. These descendants, talented in the ways of magic, were protected by a secret organization before they ultimately mixed their own blood with that of En Seid, the knowledgeable one. The theory goes on to present the tempestuous and twisted fate of Sangrial but the author gets lost in his arguments, often contradicts himself. Generally, it turns into an unholy mess. Enough genealogy and genetics. I sense that's a false trail. Which theory should I present next? The philosophical, mystical one. Mm, uh, the most esoteric. The Grail is a concept, a general understanding of good. The search for the Grail is nothing beyond an ordinary quest for perfection. Interesting. 
The grail has no specific form or shape. It differs for each individual. It can be an object, an idea, a discovery. It can also be a search for the truth about oneself. Hmm. This theory claims the quest for the grail to be the goal in itself. The result is of secondary importance. What are you suggesting? I serve the lady and am more insightful than you think. I know you return to the world of the living from death, presumably in search of something, but that is none of my concern. Just remember one thing. What? At the end of your journey, the Grail may prove to be entirely different from what you initially expected it to be. Thank you. Farewell. Sands. Take care. 